What is up, guys? We are back, and we are restarting The Legend of Zelda, The Minage Cap. Uh, for those of you who did not see my last playthrough of this, uh, it was just kind of a little boring and lame, and uh, not really. It's a freaking great game. I actually love playing this. Um, another thing is, I, 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 you know what? I, I'm going to turn the cam off because we really don't need it. And I think I might, um, you know what? Yeah, I am. I'm going to remove game sound for the time being. J just so y'all can hear me perfectly and we don't have to be too loud or anything. But, oh.
because I love the music so much, let's go ahead and just keep the music going. Uh, here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Uh, dodge! There's a storyteller here. We should stop and list. Oh, I wonder what's over there. So this is basically the most ADD you're gonna see Zelda. Um, she basically. So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that! She literally runs from place to place, and you go to talk to her, and she's like, "Oh, isn't there gonna be a sword fighting? I wonder who won this year." Oh wow! Over here. Yup. So she goes down here. Uh, we have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing! Wow, you get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? First, we have a heart piece. Actually, it is literally a full-on heart. So it's not just a heart-shaped stone. She could have given us an extra part to our life. But... Oh, and you know what? We got rupees. And a teeny tiny shield. So which one would you like? You would assume she would just pick the jewel or the heart stone, just like he says. But instead she says, The shield is so adorable, I think I'll take it. Huh? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or this giant gem? It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty ass little shield. Oh! Oh! What? I want the shield. Let me have it. Let me have it. I'll snap the shit at you. Anyways, she wants the shield, but then she makes a very nice gesture and she gives us the shield. So now we have the shield from Princess Zelda, uh, the small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing though, it's so tiny. That's what she said. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He's uh, 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 uh. Just as I thought, you look great. Now if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot we have to take the Master Smith Sword to the castle, let's go Link. Yeah, whatever. You just gave us a dinky ass little shield over a heart piece. We still have three life. Come on, Link, let's hurry to the castle. Oh, no! Hey! Ouch! That must be the business scrub. I heard the soldiers talking about they were saying a Deku scrub had been hassling all of the passerby. Link, do something about it, otherwise we can't get to the castle. If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. These nuts? Ha! Got him. Please, forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away and no one would buy anything. Yo! You sound like my ex. You just spit nut all over the place. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. That is exactly what she did. She went back to her cave. I'm just kidding. I actually feel a little bit sorry for that business scrub, but that nut hurt. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't read this without laughing. Oh, well. He won't be hassling anyone now. We better hurry to the castle. Uh, if you guys were wondering, yes, I'm playing a kid's game, but that does not mean I am a kid's person for your kids to be watching. If you're letting them watch this, then go be a parent. But I do not... Like, I, I will not filter myself. This is an adult channel, for any of you who are wondering. This is an adult channel. So, with that being said, we're just going to continue along with this game. But, 
you guys don't worry about, uh, you, you know, if you're old enough to be watching this video, then you're old enough to be watching this video, right? Uh, the minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept the play. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin here soon. I'm sorry, Link. I better go home. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. So you're here, Link. Why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that blade. Do you know about that sword, Link? It is called the Pakori Blade, and it looks much evil in It locks away much evil in the chest. The Pakori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Pakori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Dun, 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 dun. Let the award ceremony commence. Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Picori Blade and the Bound Chest spoken of in Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. Come in, senor. Andre. Enter. Do not interfere with me as victor. I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Come in! Open the door! I'm balls deep in storyline. Balls deep in your love. Oh yeah, very much so. Process it, huh? <laughs> The princess with the mystic aura. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies of its royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That'll never do. To stone with you. Off with her head. Oh. So basically he's Medusa. <laughs> All those who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. The fuck? Empty? There is nothing in there but a rabble of monsters? Well, that's just lame. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> See ya. And Vati just disappears. So now we wake up, but where are we? Where are we? Oh, thank goodness you've awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see his majesty, the king. So we go out this door. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The king of Hyrule is about to speak. As you all have heard, a sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. 
If we had the sacred Bakori blade, we could likely have broken the curse, but Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Bakori? The Bakori? Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales, but the Bakori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Pakori who forged the sacred blade live deep within the Minage Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers, soldiers there at once. No! Soldiers will not do. The Pakori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? If Link has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Pecori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It'll be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please, take this sword with you along with the, the broken Pecori blade. Bye. This is the part of the sword needed to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. You got the smith sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Ha <laughs> ha. Very well. Oh, it's his grandfather, not his uncle. I was wondering why I felt so wrong about saying uncle. Very well then. Send the soldiers search for Vati at once. Deep within the Minage Woods, you'll find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Pecori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just for a start, L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Alright, so that is where we need to go right now. We need to go to the Minage Woods. So, I am counting on you, Link. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. Alright guys, so now we move on to the next area. But, as you guys know, that's not what happened in the last time we played through. But we are actually going to go all the way to go get the Picori Blade actually redone right away as opposed to waiting like I did the first time. We're going to get a lot done this first playthrough. I plan on it at least. So um, with that being said, we're just going to keep running on and running on. Right now we're in the Hyrule Castle Garden. Um... We're just going to keep kind of heading along and everything. Uh, oh yeah, that is another thing. So now we have a sword, which... Jesus. That was almost bad. So we have a sword. Um, I know there's a few things that we can do. I just can't remember uh, how soon or, you know... So yeah, that's another thing we also should, uh, if you're watching this as a playthrough or anything, I really wouldn't because I'm actually just remembering this game. It's been so darn long since I've played, like, there, there's no way I'm actually gonna do everything at the right time. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of times that I'm going to have to look it up as well, so you're going to have to get over that too. Oh. So yeah, those guys are in the way right now, but... <clears throat> oh, and that is another thing too, is I think now that we actually have... 
the sword, we can basically just cut grass all day. But this is where we want to go. We want to go to the Minage Woods. Um, obviously, make sure you check because we want to at least get a certain amount of rupees before a certain time. Uh, Lon Lon Ranch will be a place we come back to later. With these guys, you can literally, yeah, you can literally just smack them like that and they'll tumble down and die. But, if you can see, the guards basically are like, nah, you, you basically gotta get this shit done. They're looking for Vati, so we basically gotta just keep running along to the Minage Woods. Um, I think, honestly, a lot of these monsters are just one hit. But yeah, so we head all the way down this way. Honestly, I think I may have misled you guys. I don't think we're supposed to actually go this way yet. Oh yeah, it is. This is the right way. This is the Minage Woods Bridge. Oh, I just cut the bridge. Or the cut the sign. But yeah, we're at the beginning of the Minage Woods right now. Um, running through here, we're just gonna... Right now, yeah, we obviously can't swim. There will be something that we can actually swim later. But we gotta earn that in the game. So, for the time being, we just leave that heart over there, and we don't, we won't worry about that one just yet, and if you did just try to jump off and run in there, or try and swim, come on, it's an old game, how have you not played this yet? If you have played this game, you obviously know we have to go this way, and we end up, uh, the fog gets really heavy, and we have to start fighting these guys. So the fog will get heavy, but we are not going to worry about them, we're just going to kind of run all the way down here and realize, wow, we can't get in. But, you know what we can do? Help! Help me! Help me! I'm pretty sure- yeah. So, walk over here before you walk that way. And get this piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container. Even more life energy. So, that also refuels you if you were down on any health. But, um, we will go all the way back this way to this weird looking creature, which, oh, hey kid, you there, ow, ow, hey, don't just stand there, do something, ow, what's wrong with you, don't you like, do you like watching me take this abuse, help me. Well done, that was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself, but that's besides the point. What in the world is the lone child doing so deep in the woods? Oh, I see. The Pakori, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common, you see. I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. The name is El Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay. So, we have now met Ezlo, and he's gonna get a little annoying for a moment. Wait, wait, I say. You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. You really think I can walk that fast? 
Yeah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome boy. Yo, get off my head. There, now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See there? Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If you ever need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. And such a hopeless child. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Get off my head. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Er, who are the Minish? Uh, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. The humans call them Pekori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No. That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to manage size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up, get me up there and we'll give it a try. And now we shrink. Do -do -do -do. Bloop. Boing, boing, boing. The so now we are a minage. Just kidding. We're just small now, so that we represent for the the, the we are actually the size of a minage. They will actually notice right away that we are not. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the minage. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being miniature size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Wow. What a jerk. So, this time we will go this way. We'll wait around for this lily pad to kind of pass. Oh! We'll wait for it to pass by again. God damn it. There we go. Alright, so we're passing around, we're passing around, and bam, we are now in the Minage world. Well, for in a second we will be. Bum, 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 bum. Woo! That's a spicy meatball. We are now at the Minage Village, but with that being said, we have done so much for this first episode, I think a lot more than we did for our original first episode, so don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe, whatever, I'm also going to leave a link in the description for my music channel, MAD Mystical and Destructive, and I'm also going to leave a link down there for me and my homie Avatar Doom. We do some, uh, uh, we play Pokemon Snakewood, and we've also been playing Boo's Fury, but he is also playing Kingdom Hearts at the moment. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. For any of you who do not know Kingdom Hearts, go watch his stream, and watch back and forth, you know, we're all gonna be uploading, and at some point he will be back so that we can stream some more of some... Magic the Gathering. 
Um, that'll be done with me, PCMR, Rocket Man, and uh, Avatar Doom. And we're also looking into kind of adding more to this, so there could be even tournaments at the house. Like, we will have six people just fucking going through d did brackets. I'm thinking about it. It's, it's, we're, we're, we'll see. But, with that being said, y'all have a great night. Silver Kishimaku, out. <laughs>